day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Grace and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we still want to look at the appearances of God, the appearances in the New Testament. And as we say, Jesus, the eternal Son of God, was in the beginning, in eternity past. He was with God. We declare from the word, He is God. St. John 1, verse 1 and 2. His pre existence is established in the Old Testament with an abundance of scripture. He was before all creation because he was the creator all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made john 1 and verse 3 ephesians 3 and verse 9 god created all things by christ jesus so Jesus appeared throughout the Old Testament. The prophets spoke of him and his coming. His name speak of his eternal being. Revelation chapter 22 and verse 13. He declared in the volume of the book it is written of me Hebrews 10 and verse 17 Jesus quoted a lot from the Old Testament and we'll see him quoting Psalm 40 and verse 7 we have found Jesus in the Old Testament all scripture history, psalms, and prophecy converge towards one central person. And that person is the person of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his appearances, he appeared at creation. We see him in Genesis chapter 2 verse 21 where the Lord God took one of Adam's rib and closed up the flesh instead thereof which would surely require his presence and so we know that Adam saw him we know that Adam and Eve saw God in visible form after they have sinned and hid themselves from him among the trees in the garden. Genesis chapter 3 verse 8 through 19. And then we wonder how can we hide from a God who is everywhere present. A God who sees and knows everything because he is all knowing he has all knowledge and he has the power to operate using that knowledge we know also from the scriptures that Cain saw God in visible form for he could not have been driven out of uh, the invisible presence of God but we would be driven out of the presence the literal presence uh, of God in Genesis chapter 11 5 it is clear that God appeared on earth at the time of the Tower of Babel for it says the Lord come down to see the city and uh, the tower so we know that was also another visible appearance that he made. We have talked about him coming down and appearing several times to Abraham. 
we saw him in the first recorded appearance in Genesis chapter 12 and verse 7. The Lord appeared unto Abram in Genesis 17 verse 1 through 22. The Lord appeared unto Abraham and the Bible says, and God went up from Abraham. So we know if he went up from him, then yes, he was here on earth when he saw him. In Genesis chapter 18, verse 1, the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre. God appeared to Isaac also and confirmed the Abrahamic covenant with him. He appeared to Jacob. He confirmed also the promise or the covenant that he made with Abraham and that he made with Isaac. We see God wrestling, that wrestling match, that all night match, match with Jacob. This was not a physical rest. This was not a spiritual wrestling, but a physical bodily wrestling as seen in Genesis chapter 32 verse 24 through verse 32. As we say, this was also a bodily appearance of God as is proved in verse 30 of Genesis chapter 32. Jacob said, I have seen God face to face. So Jacob experienced another visitation of God as is recorded in Genesis chapter 35 verse 9 through verse 15. Genesis chapter 35 verse 9 through verse 15 it says and God appeared unto Jacob again when he came out of Padanarian and blessed him and God said unto him thy name is Jacob thy name shall be called thy name shall not be called any more Jacob but Israel shall be thy name and he called his name Israel. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins. And the, lo and the land which I gave Abraham and Isaac to thee I will give it, and to thy seed after thee will I give the land. And God went up from him in the place where he talked with him. And Jacob set up a pillow in the place where he talked with God, even a pillow of stone. And he poured a drink offering thereon, and he poured oil thereon, and Jacob called the name of the place where God spoke with him Bethel. So we know this was also another physical appearance of God to Jacob. So what did Jacob do? The Bible says after God appeared to him again God told Jacob, go back to Bethel, that special place, the place of meeting. And so he went, he says, a place where you build an altar. So Jacob instructed his family. He says, listen, man, destroy all your idols. Wash yourselves. Put on fresh clothing in preparation for this event. At Bethel, God appeared to Jacob. 
reminding Jacob of the covenant that he made with his fathers, Abraham and Isaac. Bible says Jacob made an offering and once again he anointed the stone that he used for a pillow where God had where where Jacob had seen the stairway to heaven where the angels were ascending and descending Genesis chapter 28 and verse 18 so we have seen numerous occasions of God appearing on earth to his people we can talk about him appearing to Moses we can talk about him appearing to Joshua and in so many different appearances but today we want to understand that yes Jesus is the eternal son of God he was not just sitting idle in heaven but he worked doing the will of God his father even from eternity past so his work did not just begin when he came to earth to be born of the Virgin Mary God bless you today thank you again for watching please like please share also comment and don't forget to visit my youtube channel daily med with a lady v